Okay, I'm going to show you how to program a Beehive Smart Controller uh, using the, the Beehive app. Now, there's two different ways to do it. You can either use the Smart Control um, portion where it will adjust for you, or you can go with the standard. Um, basically, it's just it just gives you four different programs that you can set up. The smartest way uh, would be to use the Smart section. I'm going to go. I'm going to go down to zone eight and set up the details on that one. And again, since I clicked on it, it is it's activated. Uh, go to zone. Go go down. Click on zone eight, and then click on. Then you want to select the the soil type. I'm going to go with sandy loam. This basically is how long the soil can retain water and how long it takes for the water to percolate down into the soil. Um, sandy loam is a pretty common one, so is loam and clay loam. Uh, usually you don't have direct sand or clay. Okay, I'm going to go to plant type. I'm going to go with cool season turf, uh, but there are, as you can see, uh, six options. Uh, warm turf you that that's typically in a southern climate uh it depends on what you know you hopefully you know know the type that you're going to be dealing with now the root zone that i'm dealing with is actually not six inches it's more like four okay now sprinkler type spray heads rotors or drip now, if you have rotary heads, the ones that spin, they are they are on a spray body. You will want to set it to rotor, and then you'll want to adjust the the this little bar to the setting for the application rate. So the if you have if you're using rainbirds, you would set it to around 65. Sorry, the mouse is sticking for some reason. You want to set it around 65 if you have the rainbird ones. If you have a hunter hunter um series there's two different series the the uh standard mp rotators would be 0.4 and the 800 series would be about 0.82 or 0.83 somewhere around there so that's that if you're using rotators you're going to want to make that adjustment um, and you have to do all of this for every zone. Um, you don't, you want to make sure you get it as accurate as possible. One thing that I noticed here, I do know that my spray heads are about 56 or 57. So I'm going to leave it to that. The alternative to doing this is to run a catch cup test. If you run a catch cup test, it will, it will input the information that you put into it and create this number for you. And I'll cover that on another video. Okay, sunlight. And you gotta you gotta set up all of this stuff for each one. Set it to mostly sun and back. Um, but for every single zone that you go to, you need to set up all of this. And the reason for that is because it's what it's what dictates how long and how often it runs. Um, I'm gonna leave it leave that setting most of the rainfall. Slope. Um, mostly flat. Yeah, leave it mostly flat. Now, if you don't, if, if you don't make any changes, it's going to leave the default settings. It's just the default settings are most likely not what you're needing. Now, head count and catch cup. I don't, I don't have catch cups and I don't think the head count is necessary. So I, that's where I will stop. But that is how you program a smart zone. Once that smart zone is programmed, then this one, as long as this is ticked on right here, it will allow the smart zone to run when it needs, uh, basically, um, it, it'll allow it to run when water is needed. Um, one thing you do need to set, though, is your, is your start time. So I'm going to set it for 4 a.m., confirm. Um, do we have any water restrictions, you know? Um... Let's see, weekdays to water in my area. It's pretty typical to water Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now you, you want to 
avoid watering every single day you can if it's say something like sand but avoiding watering every single day is is good it, it, it's it's a good practice um here's another thing too don't water between i like that setting i would say you know for me i would i, I want it off before people you know go outside um and off probably 11 p.m. is acceptable and I'll leave that so it's off for that the duration from 7 30 a.m. to 11 11 p.m. regardless of what it, what watering needs it or what what the watering needs are now that being said since I did set up a restriction I am going to go back and change the I clicked on the wrong one for some reason I'm going to go back and change the suggest, suggested start time and to oh uh, midnight and the reason for that is because if the program has to run for a little extended period of time i want it to be able to f fill that water window and um not uh not run out of time for it to be able to water but that is it that's how you that's how you program a smart the smart portion i will uh, do a separate video on how to program standard programming Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.